Is the mic on? So I saw Venom 2 yesterday, and I gotta say, I think I actually really liked it, and I think I'd be willing to go see it again, and I did not feel that way about the first movie. First one was fun, and I think they got the character done right, it's just that that movie is flawed on so many levels, to the point where, I mean, I guess it makes it kind of enjoyable, but not enough for me to go see it again. Whereas this one actually, this movie actually made sense in terms of the plot and how things, you know, were developed. So I think this movie is a win in my opinion. Um, there's still some things that they could have done better and I'll get into that. But I think this movie really nailed the pacing. And I mean, it's an hour and a half long, but I think the first movie could have worked with the two hours that it had if it didn't wait so long to get to the you know the part where Eddie actually turns into Venom you see Venom this entire movie you spend the entire movie with Eddie Brock and Venom and I think the way that they had this relationship it's really cool it was like this kind of like a bromance t sort of thing slash love hate relationship and I like that a lot better than the relationship that they had in the first movie between Eddie and the girl I think it's kind of funny that they had like a bromance I haven't seen that in a superhero movie before so I thought that was really cool and it was funny there weren't really any moments in this movie where I felt like wow this is really boring except for maybe some parts where I felt like it kind of there's some moments that I felt like could have been cut out like not cut out I just feel like some parts went on for too long and you know I think the humor is a lot better in this movie but there's some funny moments where it's kind of dragged out like there's like a moment where Venom's at a club and it just kind of goes on for a while so I think they could have trimmed that down just a little bit but overall I thought the humor was pretty good I actually got some laughs out of this movie and this movie doesn't take itself too seriously but when it does it's done the right way it's not like a serious scenes interrupted by a joke all the time so I liked it a lot better than a lot of MCU movies recently so I thought that was cool I didn't really care for I don't even remember her name the girl that Eddie loves because I don't really understand the point of her being in this movie I get that she helps him out but at the same time I mean she's just there and there's like her fiance there for some reason and I don't really get why they're trying to set up this whole thing between Eddie and her and they have this guy trying to like mess up their romance or something I don't know it's just really weird but I guess the point that they're trying to get across was that Eddie needs venom more than he needs some girl or something so I guess that's funny but I don't know to me she's just a really odd character to have in the movie I I've never really understood why she's in it but Oh well. I thought the action was so much better in this. I think the fight scenes were 10 times better than the ones in the first movie because in the first movie the fight scenes looked like two buckets of paint fighting each other and it's really, really hard to watch. This movie you can actually tell what's going on for the most part. It can still get a little crazy where you're trying to focus on what's going on but I felt like the fight scenes were more entertaining. I, I don't really think there was really that many fight scenes in this movie. I mean, there really isn't much at all now that I think about it. But the action is still good. I think there's still a payoff. If this movie was two hours long, two and a half hours long, I feel like the fight scenes would be kind of underwhelming after waiting so long. Because that's how I felt with the first movie. Once we finally got to the fight scene, I was like, I uh, had to wait a while to get here. And it's not really that exciting. So now this movie is still a very campy comic book movie that you would expect from the early 2000s and the first movie was that way too but not in a good way this movie's campy and comic booky i don't even know if that's a word comic booky but whatever i think this movie does it better because it acknowledges that and i don't think the first movie was trying to be that it just ended up being like really cheesy and upsetting in some moments i think this movie makes a lot more sense there's moments in the first movie where things just didn't add up. There's a lot of filler scenes in it. I, I think every scene, you know, didn't need to be cut. There's little moments that could have been trimmed down a little bit. But other than that, I felt like this movie had great pacing, which I haven't seen 
in a comic book movie for a while. Even Shang-Chi, I felt like, could have been trimmed down. But I think this movie was done perfectly. I feel like this whole video is just a comparison to the first movie because the first movie has so many problems, but I don't know. I, I just, I like seeing improvement and I like seeing things be done right. And I don't think they really changed the Venom character too much. I mean, they, they kept him the same as the first movie. I just think they kind of went further with the character. They didn't completely change him like they did with like characters like Thor, you know, Drax or any of the MCU characters that they've made big changes to. And I like that this movie has a little more personality than a lot of MCU movies that kind of lack that, where it feels like it's they're all directed by the same person. Not every MCU movie, but a lot of them. I think this movie has its own style, and I thought that was really cool. So, I think my biggest issue with this movie is that, and this is a spoiler by the way, so you might want to exit out if you don't want to have this movie spoiled. Don't get me wrong, I think Woody Harrelson played a really good Carnage, but... I think he kind of understated his welcome. I think they underutilized him, in my opinion. I think Carnage could have done a lot more. I think they could have made him more violent. I know that they wanted to keep this PG-13. And some people have said, like, oh, this movie pushes the PG-13 limit, but it really doesn't. I guess you could say that because they say fuck in one point, but, I mean, that's about it. That's the most R-rated thing in this movie. So it's not more violent than the first one. Not really. To me, it's like really weird when Venom bites somebody's head off or Carnage bites somebody's head off and there's no blood. And to me, if you really want to make an impact with a character like Carnage, I think it has to be kind of gruesome. But that's just my opinion. I know it doesn't have to be rated R, but I think they could have done that. And I also don't think they should have killed him off. Yeah, you gotta have the hero win. You can't just have the villain run off and you know cause havoc and everything but i think they could have done a lot more with carnage and i don't really know any other villains that can go against venom but then again i haven't read all the comic books so i don't know but i think carnage is such a big character and i feel like he's kind of just been thrown away now i think they could have saved him for future movies especially with spider-man we'll see maybe they'll find a way to bring him back they're doing this whole multiverse thing so you never know but i would hope to see Woody Harrelson come back because I liked him a lot in this movie. So a much better villain than the first one. But like I said, I enjoyed this movie quite a bit. After I saw it, I wasn't sure if I would want to see it again, but now that I've given it some time, I actually do want to see it again. Growing up, I would always see like an MCU movie or DC movie and I'd go see it two or three more times. But now a lot of superhero movies are kind of repeating things, so I don't find as much enjoyment going to see them a second time. I feel like I kind of got everything I needed out of them. So if a superhero movie or if a comic book movie is really good and I feel like I want to see it again, then to me, that's a win. I would have to give Venom Let There Be Carnage a 7.5 out of 10, which I think is pretty good. So yeah, I'll be sure to do some more reviews soon, video essays, and I'm trying to get a podcast started soon. So stay tuned for that. So uh, yeah. Bye.